Hola raza, ¿cómo estamos? Aquí su amiga Lala y la toda navideña con mi música y todo. I know this is how you guys love seeing me because it's natural and it's real. No, I'm just kidding, I know. I'm hot, I'm red, I'm like already sweating. Pero um, quiero compartir algo muy bonito con ustedes para todos los que um, necesiten de, de algo que les inspire, que les dé motivación. Estas, estas historias me dan mucha motivación. Fue otro tercer año en Lala's Christmas Tree Foundation que fue un suceso, gracias a Dios. Y otra vez le regalamos arbolitos de Navidad a, a gente que está dentro del um, Juvenile Center de East Lake. So, claro, muchos de ellos no salen para la Navidad, pero nominan a alguien de su familia. El año pasado no pude darles a todos. Tuve que es escoger a las historias, que fue muy difícil porque las historias están bien bonitas. Y um, este año um, las nueve personas que participaron a todos se les dieron arbolitos. So, quiero compartir con ustedes unas de, um, pues, todas estas historias. En, no en un solo video, voy a hacer como tres videos. Um, dos historias ya las leí, las otras siete no, porque quería compartir ese momento. Um, es muy especial, es muy bonito. Mira, ya quiero llorar, nomás de pensar. Va a haber mucha lloradera, ¿eh? So, si no les gusta ese rollo, mejor cámbiale. Pero es, es llora, llora, lloradera diferente, no es de tristeza, es como de felicidad que estás dando un poquito, estás brindando un poquito de, de felicidad y, y de esperanza en familias, ¿no? So, ya me voy a callar y ahí les va la primera familia, la primera familia que fue nominada. Esta niña um, nominó a su grandma, so ahí les va. My grandma, my world, she means everything to me. Growing up, she was always there for me. She's like my mom. Every time I get into trouble at school, she would bend me over her leg and spank my behind. She was a teacher once upon a time. So you know she had me at that table doing work every day. My grandma is the topping of the tree. You know the little star or the angel that goes on the top. Everybody in my family knows when you want three meals a day, a warm bed to sleep in, in and close to where, that's the place to be. Sorry. I don't know why, but as I got older, I started disrespecting her, not following the rules and just abusing her verbally. I was so dumb. I really don't know why I did those things. Every day she was there for me. Every time things went wrong, she came to my rescue. I remember she used to call me her princess. She even had the, the waterman calling me that. But now that I've encountered with the Juvenile Justice Center, she looks at me differently. She doesn't say it, but trust me, I've been knowing my grandma for 17 years now. I know when things are different. My grandma has not only put up with me, but also my two brothers. Her princess is following their steps. I'm tired of being a follower. I've stolen money from her when all she did was provide. I want to give back. I want her to know and understand and understand that everything I did was a mistake that her real princess still exists I'm going to go to college and make it to make you proud you deserve so much and I swear I'm going to give it all to you I remember calling you my mom and dad asking to come to court I remember calling you, my mom and dad asking to come to court. You all said no. That night I cried praying, begging God to let me see one of your faces. I went to court the next day expecting to see no one. I walked into court and saw you. I immediately started crying. All I could think about was how much you cared. I was so happy to know someone still loves me. I can really sit here and write three pages or more on why my grandma should get a treat. But even then, words wouldn't be, be able to describe how much she's done for my family and I. You would never understand how much pain I caused her. I just want to do something right. I want to put that beautiful smile back on her face that I destroyed. Did I destroy it? Where was I? Last year, I was locked up and maybe this year for Christmas. I just want to give her joy instead of pain. I want her to know that I love her to death and I'm sorry for the pain I caused. Not only will that tree bless her, but also my family. 
I'm looking at three strikes. I might not get to see her for a little while, but I want to make her smile this Christmas. Even though I'm locked up, I want her to know I'm doing positive things. I'm trying to become her little princess again. My grandma, my world, she means everything to me. She's my world, my everything. So we bless them with the tree. You know, this is so pretty, huh? Guys, I have eight more to go. I'm gonna stop this video and then we're gonna do another one, okay? Love you. Merry Christmas.